Welcome back to Crypto Front. This is the front line where we are fighting together side by side for financial freedom. Finally, I can come to you and talk about ICP in a video. Over the last few days, we have had a very much tough time and we are now faced with a totally different chart compared to where we were just on Friday last week. Now, some of you have been wondering where I was because I'm undoubtedly one of the most bullish guys here when it comes to icp internet computer protocol i mean almost every single one of my video is a very positive one and i look forward to great price you know for the icp price however we have been met with a very very much difficult obstacle because we saw icp on friday going down as much as like 72 percent in less than one hour now after this i couldn't make any sort of update because number one of time constraints and also just because i just didn't have any opinion my opinion has been that ICP was in a wake of accumulation pattern and four dollars was the law, then we were looking forward to push towards the upside. That did not happen, obviously. But this didn't happen because ICP is a bad asset or anything like that. This happened because the rest of the crypto market decided that it was going to be falling, even though, in my humble opinion, nobody was selling. There was a lot of shenanigans that happened right there. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm justifying me being wrong. But some of the things that happened on Friday are totally, totally weird. Now, one other thing that is also very much weird is that between Friday and the minus 72% crash that we saw, you can realize that the price has actually managed to recover and we are only down 20% from where we were on Friday. That's really, really interesting. We have to figure this out very much quickly. To be honest with you, we don't have any other option. Why? Because we have been punched in the first right now. Now, we have got two options. Either we just continue lying down and surrender the fight or we're going to have to stand up and start fighting back because, because for me, crypto, just like any other aspect of my life, it's never been an easy thing, right? But in the end, in my opinion, we will be winning. So one thing that I really regret so much is that I did not inform everybody about what was coming in the market. I will just say it right from the beginning. I did not see the market crashing 70% in one hour. However, I was seeing some things which were very much concerning right there. The regret that I have, I will just say it, is I did not make a video in time to go ahead and tell people what my exact feeling were because I just did not have enough time to make a video that I wanted to make and communicate exactly what my message was. However, I was posting and talking to Patreon members on the 8th of October. This is two days before the crash and I was saying that I'm pondering at some very big decisions I have to make to my portfolio. The question on my mind is what if the market fails to break out? Now, I'm prepared if the market goes up. But what if this time is very different and 10x is no longer a standard in crypto than I was ending with. I will be sharing my decisions to you later today. So one of my patrons obviously asked me and he was like, isn't that, you know, a risk that we always take with altcoins? It's a chance. Of course, I said yes. It's always a chance, but I need to readjust my portfolio, selling half of everything that is in profit. I intend to buy back after a clear breakout of all indexes. When I was saying indexes here, I was meaning the total market cap of crypto, you know, market cap of altcoins excluding bitcoin market cap of altcoins excluding ethereum and stuff like that now currently they all have bearish divergences on a weekly time frame and it's very hard for me to ignore price has to pump real soon to invalidate these bullish diver these bearish divergences until then the risk of being fully long is getting too big to manage for me and i'll remain in the market with half of my portfolio if we eventually have these things resolved then i buy back in so this was my strategy right there right okay we have a breakout and then i'm going to be buying back with the 50 percent that i had sold of course i did exactly like that and i was also mentioning that this was a very hard decision for me to make especially being a very much bull for like four straight years the decision is like why am i doubting right now so i was showing my patreon members the bitcoin you know price for example having a rising wage and a bearish divergence on the weekly time frame and then, of course, I also showed the total market cap of crypto, which had the same thing right there, a rising wage, which is bearish. And then, of course, bearish divergence is there on the RSI. So with that, I actually went on to sell my portfolio on X. I also came on X and I was saying that I just sold 50% of my crypto holdings that were in profit. I will be explaining in a video and it was a very tough decision, but uh, I have already communicated with Patreon members. So this was now on the 9th of October. I was posting this one right around, I would say 5 p.m. my time. Unfortunately, on the 9th of September, I just did not have enough time to sit down and make an ICP video, make a Jasmine video or any other of the, you know, cryptocurrencies that I talk about on the channel. 
10th of October came the following day and the market crashed without me making a video to communicate the message that I was seeing some concerns in the market. Throughout this whole time, I'd been saying that everything is looking okay. And the day that I decided to say, okay, you know what, maybe we can go and warn people a little bit. I just did not find enough time and the market did what it did. However, I think right now, the most important thing is not what happened in the past. The most important thing for me is to try and figure out what really the market holds. But I think for me, personally speaking, I have already found the key in what I said before. Remember before the crash, when I made the decision to sell, I was saying that I intend to buy back after a clear breakout of all these indexes. So I think this is where really my answer lies when it comes to what is the decision that I'm going to be making right now? Am I going to be jumping back into the market immediately or am I going to be preparing for a a bear market i don't want to say that but uh let's let's go ahead and take a look at those things and try to find an answer especially for me so this was the total market cap i was pointing out when i was you know talking about the decision to sell and uh, we see that still we have got that rising wage which technically speaking is already bearish on its own and uh, we also have got a bearish divergence here on the hour side this is on a weekly time frame now we're also seeing that the macd is slowly but surely trying to turn here and confirm a bearish MACD cross by right there. So, you know, that's not looking very good for now. But if we also take a look at the Bitcoin price, right now we're at $115,000. That's great and stuff. But still, we have got that bearish divergence. And we also have got somewhat of a bearish divergence on the weekly time frame here on the MACD as well. So these things have not been resolved yet. And what it means for me is that the 50% that I luckily sold before the crash I can't deploy it yet because the market for me at least it just still looks as bad as it was before this war crash so the condition is set until and unless these bearish divergences are totally obliterated they are gone i think this is the only moment that i'm going to be coming back and stepping into the market one more time yes i know that you know people will be asking me one moment why didn't you buy you know when icp was at a dollar 16 or something like that the honest truth is that when this whole thing actually happened, nobody knew what to do. I personally just got paralyzed. When ICP reached something like $2.80, I posted saying I'm going to buy ICP right now. Okay, I bought it and immediately I saw the price going down to like $1.16. I was, I was shell-shocked because even <laughs> the amount that I had bought was already down like more than 50%. It was just a surreal moment. Nothing like that had ever been seen. I mean, we can compare it obviously to 2020 when the COVID announcement was made. But even that, it does not compare to what happened on Friday. It was such a massive thing that I think that the market is going to be taking a very much long time to recover from this. So right now, when I look at the ICP price, I can't read anything into this. I've never seen a chart that looks like this. I have just never seen a chart like that. Maybe, you know, FTX Luna, but those were different things altogether. This, what happened here was not because something broke with ICP. No, something broke with crypto and the effects are yet to be seen in my humble opinion. So I really can't comment much on the price section here of ICP Internet Computer Protocol. But what I can say here is the Bitcoin price, which I was looking at before I sold. And also the total market cap here of crypto saying we have got bearish divergences right there. So we need you know, to see something change from there because once something happens there, it obviously positively or negatively affects the rest of the market, market including, including ICP Internet Computer Protocol. Because just as I've been making a bullish case saying that, look, ICP follows liquidity in altcoins and we were showing all these bike of accumulation patterns and stuff. Yes, we also have to make the same argument when the rest of the market goes down together, because once again, they just move in tandem. So right now we don't have much answers. And I think that the solution is that we're going to be assessing this whole situation on a daily basis, looking at everything from a neutral standpoint, not even from an emotional standpoint, because the honest truth is that we love ICP and in most cases we are forced to look at it in a positive way when sometimes things are not all that great. So for me, I think that's going to be a thing of the past and we're going to be as, you know, as critical as possible. So that's where we are here, pretty much beaten up, I can say, but it doesn't mean that if you lose one better, you have lost the whole fight. If we're going to be going for a bear market here, I think that the honest truth is that we couldn't have saved ourselves because anything else that you would have bought 
would have suffered the same fate in my humble opinion but we'll see what eventually happens by the way i'm not gonna be coming to any conclusions at this point the major decision that i'm, I'm trying to make at least is that at least the other percentage that i managed to save when am i gonna be deploying it back into the market is it even possible is it a scenario are we gonna be trading our way out of this whole thing because it's not only one way of making money in this market you can also short the price if you know it's too weak like that so right now i mean i'm i i really struggled on making this video there isn't much to say for me right at this point another reason why i can't say anything is because the united stock market is not yet open if you remember very much closely what had happened on friday is that crypto was crashing along with the u.s stock market once the u.s stock market closed this is when we saw that big liquidation here going out of control because there was no longer volume maybe holding you know some orders or anything like that so we'll see how the united states stock market opens on friday remember there was the talk about you know tariffs and a whole bunch of different things but we'll see how eventually everything pans out but uh, for now honestly speaking nothing much to say yes icp has recovered a little bit we're now at three dollars fifty but what we have also seen in you know previous crashes that looks remotely close to this because there is nothing that looks exactly like this that we saw on friday is that you tend to test the laws one more time now what this would mean is that you're looking at a dollar again yeah, nah we don't want to be talking about that at this point let's go ahead and analyze the situation on a daily basis i for myself i'm not going to be giving up i'll be here and um, even though i'm working on my thesis and stuff like that i will try to go ahead and um, make as much updates as possible i really would have loved to come here and talk to you in person like you know with my camera on but for now i mean things are not just good for me so we'll see what eventually happens by then we are waiting on all those indexes to break those you know bearish divergences because as long as they stay there icp will not have a chance along with all the other outpoints by this so i hope my message is across and we'll see you in a following update thank you so much take care bye bye